Hello everyone, different head today for a change. Um, I want to tell you today it's a very slippery situation here. The streets get a little ice on it, so I have to be careful walking. But I will be giving you two stories from Poland, one of which is quite interesting, I have to admit. And we will be going to New Tretiakov Gallery. I have not been there before. We might return during my stay here to the first Tretiakov Gallery, since I have not shown you much, I know. But I hope you enjoy this day with me. And yeah, let's, let's start this video. Let's have a great day, everyone. How beautiful those horses are that you just saw in the previous clip. Gorgeous statue. Let's start with the first news. Those of you who follow me on Locals, I just posted the article there and then also um, on the community page on my YouTube channel. If I recall correctly, it's from Defense24 uh, portal website. Just happened about 21, 22 hours ago, the US has approved sale up to $10 billion of HIMARS rocket launchers, that is the ammunition that will go to Poland. The US State Department has approved $10 billion, Pentagon has said, and just to give you a point of reference, how much it costs to launch one bullet from those HIMARS is $150,000. How country like Poland can afford something like this? We know credits, loans. Meanwhile, they sent pretty much entire military equipment, you know where, to Ukraine. And now the Pentagon approved $10 billion purchase by Poland. Of course in stages, right? But still. <sighs> no comment, really. I mean, great business venture, right? Military stuff. Meanwhile, I just want to tell you that the bank has texted me that my ATM card has uh, just arrived to the bank location, so probably tomorrow I'm going to go to the bank and pick it up and get more information to clarify on those things that I have been mentioning in the previous videos, one video. Also, what I think I will be doing this weekend, probably Sunday, I will do another live uh, with more details about how I opened that account. Again, breaking down the points with fees um transfers etc so if i do this live i will announce it so keep an eye on it uh probably the same time 4 p.m moscow time on sunday and yeah so tomorrow i will pick it up guys we see we see how it goes and i might be trying also my foreign atm cards in that bank to withdraw and maybe in other banks just to see if I can withdraw any cash. I, I don't think I can from foreign accounts, but we can give a try. In case if they get stuck in those machines, at least the bank is open so someone can help me to get it out of that machine. You remember that video, guys, in which I have showed you the ice sculptures? They were actually right here in this square. And the sign is still here. I mean, the 
the lights and we are going I believe right behind it is the Tretiakovskaya Galeria Galeria yes so this is the place that's where we are going everyone but before we get there I want to give you the second thing I promised you from Poland and that is again thanks to Maciej Maciak Pozdrawiam pana Maćka bardzo serdecznie, my favorite Polish journalist. Um, in one of his latest videos, he showed a clip, I think it's a TikTok clip, about a Ukrainian man who lives and works in Poland. And I will describe this to you, what, it was, what was shown and said in that video. I don't have the clip, but I will leave the time timestamp down below my video, so you can click on it and watch. Uh, what he was doing, that guy, in that clip, he was telling an Ukrainian uh, that there are letters coming that are summoning the Ukrainian people who live and work in Poland to the front line in Ukraine. And uh, he mentioned two cities. One was Poznań, which is a pretty large town in Poland, and another one was Tarnów. So the, the, the reflection from this is this. Even though they moved to another country to escape that nightmare, they still received the letters, summoning letters to the front line in Ukraine. You see? So now, do you really want to settle and start your own new life and register and give all your informations? I mean, look at this. makes you makes you think how cruel is this whole operation right it is like, like are they really helping those refugees i mean of course many of them they are helping but there is like another layer to the story don't you think so that's what i have for you as far as the information today guys now we are going to check out that galeria Tretiakovskaya. my russian slowly getting better and yeah, let's take a look inside. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed that tour through the gallery, new Tretiakov gallery. I like Russian museums a lot, I have to tell you. It's nice to spend time in the museum, it's actually not too cold today, it's only minus two, which is really not too cold. But yeah, I will end this video here, uh, hopefully I can record another one tomorrow, we see. Lots of love to all of you. Make sure to join me on Locals. You can support me there as well. Follow me on Instagram. 
check out my books, my novel and the books for children. I might be starting the process of illustrating the third book out of uh, five that I have written for kids. And that's about it. Just to give you a view right here. This is the entrance. There are two entrances, but this is not number one. I'm not sure what number is this, but here you can see the paintings of the 20th century. And also there is one small exhibition of the sculptures. So yeah, very nice place. I enjoyed it very much. I hope you did as well. And I see you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs> So if you're wondering where I just uh, had that great dish, <laughs> it was definitely too much food for me, so I didn't eat it all. It was uh, at this place Strana Katoroy Niet, and I was actually here many times already. I just love the energy and I love the food. And it's right across from Duma, right here. Let me show you. I think it's a line of the restaurant, Novikov, I believe, I say like a group, group Novikov. This is Duma, you see, right there. Anyway, guys, this is for sure the end of this video. I see you in another one.